Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another episode by the Pokemonster and today we have another Pokemon cards mail day. So buckle up buttercups. I think it's time to uh, just start here without further ado. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do another five today and uh, see what we can find. Let's see what we ordered here. Uh, we start off with another Jasmine Steelix, really nice. I hope everybody enjoyed the Milday season finale of, of season 3 as well. And the goal is to grow the Forward Trainer Binder over years and years and upgrade it when it's full. It will be really cool guys. Okay, so we have a Steelix to keep. Put in the Forward Trainer Binder, the, co the condition is really nice. Has been a while since I uploaded or recorded rather some videos. A bit rusty. I have to get back into it. So we have two Pikachu fees, Japanese. I've checked the quality a bit. There's the re sleeve this one. There's a giant uh, crease or scratch in the sleeve. Luckily, it's not in the cart. And these will be up for sale for about one buck again. Next envelope. Let's see what we can find. These orders are not too old, but not really new either. But I can, I remember ordering a, another Steelix. We ordered one not that long ago as well. Now let's see what we can find behind this Marcargo EX. Marcargo was one of my favorite Pokemon. It isn't anymore. I, I may, it might be, but not this EX. Not super fan of it, but I. It's up for sale. Now we have a Gita. I sold one of those now for five bucks. I paid three fifty for this one. So uh, including shipping cost and everything, I basically got my money back with very small profit. But hey, glad to have a new one here. And then we have two Biancas. That's nice. I think we have some space for it in the binder. And this is really taped up again guys don't use so much tape it's really bad it can damage the cards i can't say it often enough so what did i pay for the biancas so when temporal forces was just released i was thinking about buying it it was six to seven bucks now three bucks perfect price for me i like to buy four trainers for those prices Oh, we have a couple more cards. A lar bit larger order, it seems. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I remember. Look at this giant top loader, guys. This is one top loader. And all the cards, like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 cards were, were in here. It's really a giant top loader. Very funny, very cool to see. Okay, let's go. So we got finally a Perrin, Twilight Masquerade. I was uh, lurking on the sidelines for one of these cards, but they were so expensive. And now finally, I feel comfortable buying. This one will definitely go into the forward binder. I'm glad finally we have some more forward trainers now to put in the binder. I was uh, hoarding a lot of uh, Japanese art rares 151. I sold a lot of them and now we are back at buying. Ah, speaking of 151 art rares, well, at least we have a couple of nice four trainers now, too, right? So, Nido King, a War Turtle, a Zepdos EX. It's the promo version, not the, the regular version. And now we have not one, but I remember now two Golden Duraladons. About 150 a piece. I want to try to sell them for two to three a piece again. And we have a Charizard for in the four trainer binder. And a Galate that I might put up for sale, but this person had a really nice inventory. A lot of stuff, auxiliary products to buy to sell again. Um let's see if we can change things up a bit here. So we have two more envelopes. The order size is this time a little bigger. 
a couple more dollars spent on average on each card let's see what we can do here it's where i have ordered cards before oh it is the japanese charizard ex promo but this one is from special um shiny treasure ex right and this one was also a promo i believe in english really gorgeous card oh look at that we have a full art m for us from vivid voltage nice card and one more nimona with the pokeball that's great that's actually really great let's take a quick look here mm. some whitening still near mint but really you can see it like this here in the corner and let's see the cherry art i've had a little look selling a, li a lot of luck i mean selling and buying these cherry arts <clears throat> i think i paid more for the japanese one than for the english one i think about six bucks i want to try to sell it for eight really cool cards maybe if i didn't uh, collect four trainers i might have collected a whole bunch of these cherry arts and the crown the crown you get used to it it's not that obvious in most images either. I thought it would take me longer to get used to it, but uh, finally my brain accepted the crowns and all the Pokemon. And Vivid Voltage, a bit older set now. It's decent, it's GG. I purchased it for 4 to 5, 1 to ask 7 again. Great quality, quality cards. And for the last envelope, folks. Ooh, nice. Perdian Taurus. One of my favorite art rares. Yeah, gorgeous card, guys. What do we find here? 151? Oh, it's Iron Thorns. In Japanese. And one more Iron Thorns. Alright, alright. Hmm. So, this was a pretty cool meal day. I hope I don't have to cut to cut out of the video too much. I hope everything is clear. Yeah, let's see. So what did everything cost me? I just told you, or what is the plan? Um, I'm gonna sell my cargo, sell Jinx, sell Zepdos, sell the two Pikachus, sell the two Golden Duraludons. And that I'm going to sell them doesn't mean I am able to sell it immediately, but at least I want to have this in my inventory online. A Galate and one Iron Threads. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna sell both Iron Threads, Iron Thorns and also the Padian Taurus. So this is... Basically, this is what I'm intending to keep. Four trainers for the binder, not bad haul today. And this is what is going back up for sale. I'll let you know if something is sold. I'm doing a little short series right now. I'm running it and recording it. Not sure how far we are with all the shorts. But uh, you will probably eventually see these pass on shorts. So, okay, that's about it, guys. Thanks everybody for watching so much. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good Wednesday and have a good weekend in advance. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Thanks. See you.